Hey, Dan Meyer here, and today we're going to talk about seven tips to grow your brand using a virtual assistant. So you wanna grow your brand. You've launched it, you got it out there, you got your, your basic color palette, you've got your logo, you've got your, your mantra ready, you've got your vision statement, you've got your mission, it's all planned out, you've launched a website, got a little social media, whatever it is you've got started, you're ready to go to the next level and beyond. So you, to do that, you really wanna think about how you can delegate a lot of it to somebody else to free you up, right? You wanna delegate because delegate allows you to ha enjoy the convenience of focusing on more important aspects of your business. There are some things only you can do, but most of the things in any business anyone can do as long as they have the right training and the right background, the right skill set. Have a virtual assistant do most of your marketing. Have them do most, if not all, your social media. Have them be the ones really pushing your brand out in these areas so you can focus on growing your brand by speaking about it, by writing about it, by sharing what you have up here and what you have in here to your audience. So this is based on my experience, right? So I worked for Wells Fargo for 15 years. I learned a lot, did a lot, made a lot of money, had a good time. But after 15 years of corporate America, I was ready to move on, right? So I have been an entrepreneur for the last 10 years. I've launched multiple businesses. I'll be launching, are you ready for this, my eighth business um, in 2021, right? So this business is going to be totally different than all the others on the surface. But inside, it's going to be some of the commonalities I've done in all my businesses. And one of those things is knowing how to launch a brand, right? You want to really make sure that when you do branding, that you have a lot um, of thought put into it. You plan it. You, you're you going to take this brand and you're going to nurture it into adulthood. And as you do that, you need help. You need a babysitter. You need teachers. Those are what VAs can do. VAs can help take care of some of the things that you can't always do yourself so you can go do other things, as well as they're going to start doing things you can't do to grow your brand. So really, the first thing I'll talk to you about is social media management um, needs to be engaging, right? Your social media for your brand to grow has to be engaging. And creating engaging content and sharing engaging content and and following up on engaging content are three different tasks that can be done by at least one or two different people. A lot of the creation of social media comes from us. Now, we may not always be the ones creating everything, but our inspiration, what we have in our heart, our mind and our passion go into our business and we want that to, to vibrate and to resonate throughout our social media, right? So when it's doing that, it's because we're able to really create the core content ourselves. For me, that means making videos like this or giving a lot of direction to my team as far as creating graphics. I create the raw content or give them the raw idea and let them fill in the blanks and expand it, right? So this video, all I did is record the video. All the graphics you see, the intro and outro music, the calls to action, the things that scroll across the screen, that was all done by a VA. A VA is the one that put the video out there on YouTube. They're the one sharing it across social media. So I can focus on content creation. And then I can have somebody else focus on engagement. That's important because I'm not great at engagement. I'm not bad at it, but it's not my best thing. But I'm the only one that can really create engaging content for my business right now. So I put my time where I'm best at and where I'm needed at and hire somebody else to make sure that everything else gets out there. And social media engagement means you have to put things out there that are interesting and you have to share them, promote them, and engage with people as they like and share and comment and follow up and invite and do things besides just posting. Posting things on social media is not engagement. Just making an occasional comment or sharing in a Facebook group is not engagement. Engagement is when you build up a lot of back and forth conversations and you convert people from their interest to a, a buyer. Whether that be they join you know, your, your Facebook group or they buy your product or they read your blog or they follow your YouTube channel, you've converted them. That's what engagement's all about. Number two is you want to turn your social um, media engagement into leads. And this is hard for someone like us to do because if we're always creating and talking and planning and doing the big picture stuff, we let fall through the cracks a lot of opportunities to turn engagement into leads. Every time someone likes or comments or shares anything you do, there should be an, invi an invitation. It should be, it could be subtle, it could be overt. It could be something where you're trying to like, you know, get some interest, where you're trying to get to them join. You gotta know when to do what kind, and that's what a VA can, you can work with a VA to do, to figure out what to do in what situation. Bottom line is, you do something in every situation, right? Replying to messages, comments, and tweets, and building relationships with potential clients is the way that you use social media effectively. Most of us don't. Most of us just post and hope. We, we, 
put things into, you know, we pay for ads, we build all kinds of content, and we just put it out there and we hope people come back and say, hey, I saw this, now I want to buy something from you. I want to partner with you. I want to do business with you based on what I saw. It never works. Very, very rarely, right? Most of the time you build up engagement by inviting and asking and sharing and doing it over and over again in a way that builds up interest. You don't want to just, you know, spam people, but at the same time, you want to have a plan to build interest. Having a VA manage this conversion of lead to client um, is something super important. It frees you up. Number three is your brand ambassador is what your VA should be, right? Your brand ambassador. Your VA should be the one for each channel that is a person behind the brand, right? So you are the brand. You are the face of your business. You are part of your business. You know what people want to do business with. But behind that, there should be a person that's building that brand. Someone should be able to speak in your voice to either share content or eventually create content like you do. To, to some extent, speak like you do, to be able to do things so people aren't 100% sure if it's if they're with, talking to you or talking to somebody else. That's a good thing. You can also, if you do want to separate two and have yourself be your own identity, you can have your VAs be your biggest fan. You can build them up to be like your biggest cheerleader, your storyteller. Whatever you do, you want to use a VA as your brand ambassador. Number four, you want to create reports to make the best decisions, right? Data, data, data. Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, they all have free analytics tools, data analysis tools that show you exactly who's liking what, where they come from, what age they are, what gender they are. You see things that you have in common. You see patterns of when people are more likely to engage and when they're not. You see when people are online. You need to look at all this data on a a continuous basis. And it's time consuming. And it could be something that if we're not doing a regular basis, we have blind spots. But if we're too busy to do it on a regular basis, we're creating our own blind spots. Having a VA be responsible for creating reports based on all the social media analytics tools that are out there so that you know what things you should do more of. What kind of content's killing it and what kind of content's getting you killed? You need to know the difference so you only create killer content that kills your audience and brings them into you, that's killer, versus getting you killed, right? So it's super important. Reporting, analytics, data. You need to make sense of your numbers. Number five, a VA should go and schedule all your meetings. You should never, ever, ever manage your calendar, right? When you manage your own calendar, it's going to cause you problems because you're going to like have to fill things in, give up your time. You're going to have to like figure out, do I meet with this person? and how long. Yeah, it's important to do that when you first launch a business if you're trying to kind of grow connections with your initial client base. But you get to a certain point where most of your meetings you want to have pre-scheduled and you want to have them pre-screened and you don't want to have to have them with just anybody. So you want to have built a process where you're not just having a VA schedule your appointments, but having a VA screen your appointments beforehand. Having a VA figure out who are the ones that you should be talking to and take care of all the rest. If they're general inquiries, if they're not serious, if they're trying to sell you something, that should all be screened out before it gets to you. So make sure your meetings are organized, providing reminders, and giving yourself enough time. All this stuff can be managed by a VA. Shouldn't be something that you do. Number six, email marketing, right? So email marketing is something that we still have to do, even though I hate it. I don't read 99% of the emails I get. I, I delete almost everything that I get, unless it's a bill or something important. But anything that comes from anyone, even people I like, even my best friends, I don't even read most of their emails because we get so many of them. But you still have to do it because it's a, it's one of those things where if you convert one person from a, a thousand people you email to, it'll It'll probably pay for three or four months of sending emails, right? So that whole point is we still have to do it. Have a VA do it, right? Have a VA manage your CRM, your email system, your newsletter, whatever you're sending out. Try to, in your sense, automate that, either having all the things automated and let a VA just kind of monitor it or have a VA do it in ways that makes it automatic for you. Either way, planning, creating, sending out newsletters, email campaigns, that should not be you. You have to do it but it shouldn't be you doing it. Number seven, last thing I'll talk about today is customer service, right? You have to have somebody to handle every email, every message, every phone call, and get back to everyone. And again, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a solo business owner, if you're a coach, a speaker, a trainer, you're probably too busy to always get to everything right away. But having a VA who every day they check all these things and they get back to people is super important because then people know that you're always gonna get back to them. That's huge. Like We let so many opportunities fall through the cracks because 
because we're stuck in busyville because our minds are too busy to follow up on everything but it's amazing if you have the right va they all do all that and they just tell you what you need to refer you about they escalate the few things that you have to solve and they take care of 90 percent or more of all the inquiries that come into your business that really didn't require you to answer so if you do these seven things you're going to be much more successful so if you want to be able to do things in your business like do more reporting have some kind of report generated to show you what you're doing well and what you're not doing well to help you decide what to do in the future we can do that for you we have VAs that can do business dashboards we can do day storytelling we can do all those kind of things with data and social media we can also manage your social media for you if you want us to we can plan out your calendar we can also create graphic design images. We can do all kinds of cool things with photos, with videos. If you want YouTube ready videos, if you're using your YouTube channel to be a content library where you store all your great stuff that you then share out across social media to show people why they should do business with you, we can build all that for you. Sonic VAs allow you and your business to be more consistent, to have more clarity in your messaging and build up more certainty between you and your audience in regards to what you're going to deliver to them. This is what Sonic VA does. Again, we want you to focus on what you do best by hiring us to do all the rest. So if you're trying to grow your brand, it shouldn't just be you. In fact, most of the work for branding that goes into marketing, that goes into sales, shouldn't be you doing. So hire a VA for that. Check out SonicVA.com and you'll learn more. I want to thank you for your time and I encourage you to go out there and Grow your brand with a VA. Have a nice day.